and welcome back to Random Baby's channel. And if y'all are relatively new and y'all aren't subscribed yet, my name is Miranda, but y'all call me Random Baby. And if you're not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. I have at the end of the video my little picture, you can click on it. And also, right now, you can click on it right underneath the video little red box and next to it hit the bell not once not three times or five times twice that way you can get any notifications anytime I upload and also I do shout outs and you don't want to get missed getting a shout out do you but you only get shouted out if you leave a comment down below showing love but with further ado guys I have been seeing this traveling around and I took my makeup off except for of course my eyes and cause I have to go somewhere in a few minutes and I can't I ain't got time to be doing my makeup but this has been floating around and I finally got my hands on it because I'm near Houston and the Walgreens in my area didn't have it like the wet and wild wasn't popping up like other places but like already just kind of gave it away I got a hold of the wet and wild cushion foundation and I'm not gonna lie guys the only Wet n Wild product I've tried, which I have a video on, I'll leave it at the end of the video. You can click on it, or you can click on it up here in the little white info box thing. But this is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus, so you can check that video out. And, I mean, it wasn't a bad foundation, it's just... Um, well, honestly, I don't even remember if, I don't even use it. <laughs> I only use it for that video. If y'all subscribe to me and y'all know me, y'all know what foundations I use. But I do test out products, and if there's any other products y'all want me to test out, make sure to leave them in the comment box below as well. But I picked this up at Walgreens, and I'm reading... The packaging it does have a SPF of 15 which isn't bad but sometimes when you add sunscreen to foundations they make them a little watery or oily and I don't know like I had one foundation I think I did a review on guys and it had like an SPF of like this one don't have SPF of nothing that's one of my good ones. Where, where are they at? It can't be my Milani. No. I ain't even about to look for it. But it had like an SPF of like, I believe it was almost 50. That is a lot. That means you're mixing pretty much the foundation or not even, you're mixing sunscreen with a, a hint of color. That is pretty much what you're doing. That's ridiculous. But a little bit of found, uh, foundation, a little bit of sunscreen isn't bad. Look at my hair. I want it to go one way and it just doesn't want to go. So. But another alternative about this so far, it contains natural coconut don't 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 be making fun of me right now when I'm trying to sound this out derivative derivative whatever the hell it is it has natural coconut I right? and I love coconut guys I love the smell of coconut I love the taste of coconut I mean I just love the smell. I don't know why ever since I was a little girl and they put sunscreen on me. I used to love it. But 
I love coconut products. Even all my Mark Anthony products are coconut. So, there you go. But, okay, so this is a cushion foundation. I got my freaking hair is getting on my dang nerves. Um, sorry, mega cushion foundation. Um, I got 1088 nude beige. Um, and the good things about this that I noticed, because I was trying to open the package in the store and I was like, I couldn't get it open. And underneath them, they all looked, the colorings they had looked weird. And I was like, mm, I don't know about this. But it does say nude beige and it says light to medium warm. So, um, and then I see another one and it said cool. So I was like, okay, I don't. You know, I use the, the warmer colors. So, yes, and then it says it right there. If y'all can read it, probably not, because you're going to focus on my big old head. But other than that, it's Thermologist Tested. Um, I don't know why it has drug facts on here. Like, I'm about to... It says, listen to the directions, guys. Apply liberally 15 minutes before sun exposure. Reapply at least every two hours. Why do I want to reapply my foundation every two hours? This ain't no damn medication. The hell? Okay, I need my 24 hour long wear and my super stay that lasts 48 hours. Can I have that please? Every two hours? Now, I've seen some other YouTubers that I watch, and there's only a couple, like two or three that I watch, and they didn't go into depth like I'm going. If they would have seen this, Two hours? Reapply every two hours? Like, hold on, babe. I gotta go reapply my foundation every two hours. Let's keep going with this nonsense. Wet and wild? Come on now. Come on. Do you got directions on your other one that I didn't read? Hell no. So why the hell do I gotta apply every two damn hours? This is ridiculous. Use a water-resistant sunscreen if swimming or sweating. So we know this um, foundation isn't waterproof. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Let me finish this, and then I'm going to get my final results after this, guys. Children under six months ask a doctor. I'm done. <laughs> I'm, I'm done. I'm, I'll, I'll be back. Hold on. I just, I just can't take this shit seriously. This is... Madness, guys. Madness. Honestly, guys, I'm only going to do, like, probably half of my face and then put on another foundation. Because, also, listen to this. When I take a little break for a second, I already took it out of the package. This is what the packaging looks like. And the packaging says, oh, just the nothing, same thing. But but listen to this. Well, I, I came back and I was trying to open it and then I was reading drug facts. Main purpose of this product, sunscreen. I don't get it. Why make a foundation if it is not 
for foundation and you put drug facts none of my foundations have drug facts on them none none of them they're foundations they're supposed to last they're supposed to do their job as a foundation and not be applied every two hours and its main purpose is sunscreen and oh i found the one that i'll I haven't tried this foundation out, guys. It'll be another review. But it has an SPF of 40. That's a lot. So we're going to try that one out. But that's going to be for another video. But why? Please, somebody in the comments, tell me, would y'all wear this? Like, is this worth the money? I mean, I know Wet n Wild is cheap, whatever it is. But if you're going to come out and you're going to try and do something big, don't put drug facts on it and say to ask a doctor if a six-year-old can use this. It's sunscreen. The purpose says sunscreen right there. You can't even read it because it's not going to focus, but it says sunscreen. Sunscreen is the purpose of this. I just don't freaking get it and then there was something on the side that I read maybe that was just it oh no it was the front and it says this is a luminous lightweight and buildable foundation hydrating formula cruelty free okay so you're making this seem like it is a foundation I'm sorry guys I am so mad at this right now you put, it is a foundation, but then you put the purpose is a sunscreen, and then you have drug facts on it, like it is a dang drug. Should I have asked the pharmacist for a consult? And then on the front, you make it seem like it's a bomb ass foundation so guys I'm only doing half of my face I already know I ain't even gonna I'll say what I gotta say once I put it on but this right here I, I'm just mad at it hold on one second guys while I try and open this now okay so <clears throat> This is the inside of the packaging. You'd figure they put a mirror, but I guess not. Then it comes with a little sponge. It's pretty soft, actually. And then... Hold on, I don't want it to fall out. Uh, and then it's sealed. And then that's what the product looks like. And honestly, guys, I don't think I'm going to use the sponge. Oh, my trash is right there. Um, I think I'm just going to go in with a brush. I don't even know. I don't even know. You know what? I'll probably use the sponge. It comes with the sponge. I might as well use the sponge. I really don't want to though, it's pretty. But I don't know. We'll use uh we're gonna use a a beauty blender. I can't. Um I and um I put my moisturizer on and I put primer on this side already. Uh, so, <laughs> let's jump into the review. I don't even want to use my foundation brush that I use for my fo other foundations. So, I'm going to go ahead and use this one. Because right now, I'm a little mad, guys. Just a little mad. I'm just going to get a little wet, a little damp. Oh, 
Oh, goodness, Jesus, Lord, save us. All right, so I'm just dabbing it. Oh, shit. Snap. Sorry, guys. I got to hold it. Okay, so it is applying onto the sponge. I mean, it would have been nice if they had a mirror. Now I got to grab a mirror. Actually, now I got my mirror in front of me. I don't even want to do my forehead, because, <gasps> dang it, well, it'll probably come off in two hours, so, what's the point, right? Alright, so, let's just do the cheek area. Okay, so it is lightweight. And it doesn't look bad, but do you see how shiny I look? Maybe when I get in the sun. You know what, guys? I'm going to put the foundation on, and I'm going to wear it. Because I'm fixing to leave, so I'm not going to be gone that long. And I'll come back and I'll do a review and let y'all know how this works out. You know what? I'm going to give this a chance. We're going to give you a chance. I'm going to be messing up my eyebrows, though. I hope it kind of mattifies down just a little bit because I don't want to look like a grease ball. I mean, I like my makeup to be dewy sometimes, but you know, like. Alright. I mean, it does look like it's kind of drying down a little bit. Like on this side. I wish I would have put a mirror in the pan, but you know, what can you really do? Now I'll get closer so y'all can see. I mean, my color match is like on point, that's a plus. It is very smooth, easy to get on. It's not streaky. And they do only, at the Walgreens I got mine from, they did only have like maybe five or six shades. So. Just keep that in mind. Let me get my ear. So look how shiny I look, guys. It actually doesn't look bad. Like, I'm looking at myself, and it don't look bad. It's actually looking, you know, alright. I mean, it's really nothing. It's just like, the packaging, like, really got me hot. 
So I apply the foundation. I'm going to leave for it's probably going to be about two hours. I'm not going to lie to you guys. And um, I'm going to add just a little bit of brightener under my eye. Let's see if it mixes well. Should I use this or should I use something else? You know what? We'll just use something else because I'm a little afraid it might move the foundation. And we'll do a review with other products to see if it works good with uh, like stick concealers, things like that. But at least I know if the foundation don't look good, my highlight and stuff will, so. Okay, now let's blend this bad boy in, and I think I'm just going to use um, a powder concealer, I mean contour, because I really don't feel like going through the hassle of Cause I'm gonna be taking this off as soon as I get home to give y'all my final review. Okay, so the product doesn't seem to be moving. I'm trying to be careful with my eye makeup. Looking pretty good so far, guys. I mean, I guess if you don't wear makeup like that and you just want something to be on the go and look cute for a little bit, then maybe this will work, but... We'll find out the true results when I come back and I do a check-in. The heck was on the thing? I mean, at least the foundation isn't moving. It did dry down. So that's a plus. All right, and then let's add a little bit of contour with my mineral glow. My mineral glow. My wrist still kind of hurts, guys. Sorry. Just kind of bronze it up, you know? I wonder if I go in the sun, if it changes colors.
I'll record me going outside. Damn hair. Sorry, guys. Want to be Bronte? I'm just glad the foundation didn't like move. I ain't trying to get too fancy. I'm not going anywhere important. Just to the store. So. So, I mean, it's looking alright, guys. Let's not think. It is a little shiny, huh? But, it don't look bad. It's not patchy. It's, it doesn't have any dry areas. Definitely right here, there's no dry areas, which usually I do get dry. But lately, I've been using the charcoal strips. Y'all need to go get y'all some of those, because them things are good. Um, oh, and then we need some highlight. Can't forget the highlight. Sorry, my arm's all in the way. Right. Look at that highlight, guys. Just can't tell, really, because my face is so damn shiny right now. A little on the nose. On the cupid's bow. And on the chin. Alright guys, so... I'm about to go, and I'll take y'all outside with me, but first I gotta go, you know, use the little girls restroom and whatnot, and then I'll be right back. Hey guys, and I am back. So, it's been uh, about, let me see. Mm, about three hours. I was gone a little bit longer, but if you notice, so far it has stayed. I haven't had to touch it up. Um, when I went into the sun, like I'm looking at myself right now, it did oxidate. Um, actually a lot which isn't a bad thing for this product because as you can tell when I first had it it was very shiny it was very like I don't know just bam like out there like I had oil on my face or something um I get outside it cooled I mean it warmed up um, it dried down, and, I mean, it's still in place, it hasn't caked up anywhere, as you can see, my nose is so good, and I always have my little dimple 
line, it never goes away, no matter what. But, as far as the whole product of this, it's not a bad product, guys. Um, I think, is it gimmicky or anything? I mean, it's a foundation. Um, you know, Wet n Wild is trying new things, trying to step up the, you know, their game. The only thing I can say to them is packaging wise, I do, you know, the packaging is cute. I do like the packaging. Um, as far as the, let me open it up real quick. As far as the little applicator, you know, I wouldn't personally use. Um, and I know a lot of makeup artists and makeup gurus, we, you know, we don't use it in particularly. But, you know, we're into our beauty blenders, artisan brushes, mainly beauty blenders <laughs> and our brushes but I mean the foundation I, I really didn't have to reapply it um, I even started sweating guys I was outside and I mean it look at it it's look at my highlights still there everything is still in place nothing looks spotty I mean it's not cakey. It doesn't look like it. It's melting and melted away. Anything like that. So, I mean, as far as it's saying apply every two hours, I don't think you have to apply it every two hours, guys. Um, but it is a light to medium coverage. It's not a full coverage foundation. Um, and you know one thing I didn't test out? It says contains natural coconut. I didn't even see if it smelled like coconut. Let me smell. Whoa, my applicator. It kind of... I wouldn't say it has that coconut smell. But it does have like a slight little perfume smell to it and it sm actually smells pretty good um it doesn't smell like coconut to me but it says it has natural contains natural coconut so I think that is another reason why it gives you a healthy glow um because I feel like when I walked outside and I started taking pictures and I'll put a picture up right here it made, you know, my face look healthy and glowy and natural. So, I, I'm, I mean, this product, you know, test it out yourselves. Leave a comment down below on what you think. And, I mean, the color I picked was dead on. Um, it's not really, it's not, like, out pigmented and you gotta remember it does oxidate so um like when I'm looking at myself in the mirror I mean the color they, like I said they only have six colors if that um so it, it just really was like spot oh I've never had a foundation so spot on to my you know complexion so, with this being said, I would probably rate this a 7 out of 10. Um, 7, why? So high, especially in the beginning, I was like dying over this whole packaging and everything. But the foundation, it does make you, you know, look natural glowy, healthy, um, I mean, I didn't have to reapply anything, and again, I don't know if that is because I have natural, um, and my skin is, like, really natural, I don't have oily skin, 
Um, I'm sure if I did, you know, have oils, uh, more oil, oily T-zone, I could spit it out. Um, it, you know, you might have to reapply it. But like I said, I, I, sw I sweated, like I sweat when I was outside, like bad. And I mean, my foundation still stuck in place. And it had been three hours, going on three and a half hours. So, um, I mean, it's it's a good product. Um, another thing I would tell them, they need to redo their packaging. Don't make it look like it's a foundation coming into a Advil or drug box like you're going to buy Advil or Tylenol or anything um it's a foundation you know it, it it shouldn't need all of this on the back that's a little excessive um you know state what it does state um you know it did do a good job of saying, you know, hey, you might need to apply every two hours, but still, again, when you make a foundation, you want to make a foundation that women and men, and, you know, us as makeup artists, we don't want to see or even attempt to buy a foundation that only lasts two hours to have to reapply. That's, an, you know, one concern. Um, so maybe in the future, they'll make it to where they'll change the packaging. And they can still keep, I mean, this is cute. Like, I, I actually like this little compact. Um, so I think they should keep the compact. But as far as the foundation, um, do, you know, the light to medium. And then do um, something more of a full coverage type. And I would probably recommend a little bit more color ranges. You know, there's not just white people in this world. I mean, it kind of set me back when their darkest shade was like my contour shade. Like it's... When makeup companies come out with these brands, they want to come out so fast, and I understand it's to get your product out there, and it's to get your product across, and to really upsell your brand, but you got to think of the consumers. You got to think, well, if they don't have my, if they're not going to take the time to just like the Tarte Foundation, if they're not going to make the time to do a variety of colors, then set it back, you know, and let your consumers know, look, we're working on all shades for all women, for all beauty types, um, all uh, beauty complexions, um, for oily, for dry, everything like that, you know, you got to take in consideration because a lot of, not just high-end, but even when I look at my um, drugstore uh, brands, Maybelline, they have um, foundations for oily and dry and they got a wide variety. I know uh, L'Oreal has a huge variety. Um, and Milani, I mean, I haven't really looked at theirs. Um, but, you know, they even have a good variety of colors. And Milani and Maybelline are really stepping their game up, and L'Oreal is an OG. I mean, what can you do? They're probably always going to be on top, but Maybelline and Milani are right there. So those are the three, to me, if you're looking for a really good foundation or the um, at like a drugstore or anything, those are the three top. Me, personally, I 
automatically go to the Maybelline and then I'll go to the L'Oreal and then some, um, I have enough Milani to last me for a while but I'll look at some of their products because they're growing in the drugstores as well so they're coming out with more products um, so with this yes I give it a 7 um, I probably would definitely wear it again um, I wouldn't wear it as much as you know my other foundations but if it it's a light day, chilling, just want to put on a little bit of makeup or going to the movies or something and want to put something on real quick. I definitely would, you know, use this. Um, but again, you know, just a little, you know, tweaks and twerks that need to be done. Um, especially with the box, it's so, so confusing. Um, but packaging is cute. I would definitely keep the packaging guy um guys wet and wild if you're listening i do love the product i mean it looks beautiful on the skin and just um maybe more of a color range and also another type of compact with um <clears throat> you know more full coverage and also, got to do something with this box, baby. And then two hour long wear, which I kind of proved it wrong, but I guess it depends on your skin complexion. Um, so, what are y'all's thoughts and reviews on, you know, what I reviewed and what I said? And what do y'all think about the product? And if y'all have tried it, you know, tell me what y'all think and leave it in the comments below. And if there's anything else that y'all want me to try out, um, I do have a couple of more. I have one, two, three, four. I have about five more products that I'm going to be reviewing, reviewing, sorry, reviewing. Um, so stay tuned for those. So make sure you're subscribed already if you haven't. You still have time at the end of the video to click on my picture to subscribe and also hit the bell twice so you can get notifications every time I upload and to do a shout out. And I do have a shout out for the day and the shout out goes to Matt. Matt, thank you for your comment and yes, if any of y'all want me to sign my cast for you guys, Leave a comment down below. I haven't even started yet. And if y'all have any ideas on how I should decorate it as well, um, leave a comment as well down below. But I thought that would be pretty cool. Um, a couple of people had commented and asking if I could sign their, the, my cast for them. And I discussed it with my husband. I was like, you know, they come and sign my cast for them. And he was like, you should totally do it. He was like, you know, that brings you closer to them. And you call them your fam squad, so why not? So I'm definitely going to be doing that, guys. And also, again, shout out, Matt. Thank you for the love. And I will be signing my cast for you as well as Wrench. Men 1982, I got you. So let me know anything y'all want to say in the comments. I love you guys, and I will see y'all soon.